Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the fourth lecture of design and analysis of experiment. We will continue with types of experimental design. Why it is not going? Okay. So, in last last uh, class we have completed up to general factorial design. So, by types of experimental design we mean that depending on the situation different kinds of experiments to be conducted and what are those experiments, those types of experiment which has, which has scientific basis and designed scientifically we are discussed here. There are many more um, designs which are available all, all will not be discussed most commonly used things are discussed here. And accordingly uh, last uh, lecture in last lecture we have discussed up to general factorial design. So, now we will we will explain few more like 2 to the power k factorial design to the power k minus p fractional factorial design, the central composite design and we will we'll name some of the other special designs which will not be discussed here. So, So, you have seen that in general factorial design there are many factors each of the factors having different levels not necessary that the factors will be at two levels only the factors can be have different levels like a factor can be factor A can have A levels, factor B can have B levels, factor C can have C levels like this there are several levels. For example, let so, okay. for example, let there are three factors. A, B and C. Now, if A has A levels, B has B levels and C has C levels, then how many treatment combinations will be there? A, B, C. If we consider A equal to 5, B equal to 5 and C equal to 4, then this is 5, 5, 25 plus 4, 100 different settings. Now, again each settings if we conduct 5 replications, so you have to you have to do, do 500 experimental runs only for 3 factors. Now, if the factor is 5 or 10 or 15, so what will happen? So, the number of experimental runs will be huge and as a result you might have not in a position to conduct experiments because cost is a issue, time is a issue, resource is another issue. So, cost, time, resource, other, other type of resource all those things putting together will make it impossible to conduct full factorial experiment, full factorial experiment. And if you think that there will be A levels of for A and B levels for B, C levels for C, this. 
So, under such situation what you will do? Will you not conduct experiment? Yes, you can do experiment. You can reduce the levels. You can make some systematic leveling also like you can go for 2 to the power k factorial design where k is the number of factors and 2 is label number of label for each factor. Okay. What does it mean? In the in our earlier example, factor A 3 levels low, medium, and high, and factor B 2 levels type 1 and type 2 filter. Now, if we go by this principle or this method, then in this case k equal to 2 and what changes is required we may not consider middle, middle, medium clutter. We consider low and high, then this will also label 2, this is also of label 2. So, we have two factors each with label 2 we and the design is 2 to the power k means 2 to the power 2 factorial design. Okay. For example, here you see that this is let this is factor A this side, this one is factor B. Maybe uh, this may be some con suppose in a chemical reaction, this is the concentration, okay, and this is maybe the amount amount used pound. So, let <coughs> if the concentration is 15 percent we denote by low, if it is 25 percent let denote by high. So, either minus or plus. So, low minus high plus. So, this is basically two labels. Here also if the amount used amount material amount of material used is 1 pound it is low, if it is 2 pound it is high, this low is again minus high is plus this symbol it is also two labels. So, then effectively you have 2 to the power 2 means 4 treatment combinations. One first combination is this, this we are denoted by within bracket 1, this is your, your when factor A is at high, but factor B at low level this we are denoting by A. Then this is a combination, a treatment combination or the independent uh, experimental setting where A is at low level, B is at high level. So, this is denoted by B and this is one where both A and B are at high level, this is denoted by A B. So, this kind of this kind of uh, design is known as 2 to the power k factorial design. In 2 to the power k factorial design, please keep in mind that we have k number of controllable factors and each of the factors are set to two labels, label low high or minus plus or minus 1 plus 1 that way sometime we will use coding variables minus 1 plus 1 that we will discuss when we go for uh, detailed analysis of 2 to the power k factorial design. Now, in this three factor case, if A equal to B equal to C equal to 2, then this is the design. So, this is 2 to the power 3 factorial design. What does it mean? We have three factors factor A, factor B, and factor C and factor B. We have three factors A, B, and C and each at two levels. So, this is k, this each has two levels. So, level o, this one low, high, low, high, low, high. You have you have how many ex, uh, treatment combinations or independent or distinct experimental settings? 8 to the power 3. Here it is 4 to the power 2 because two factors. So, 1 to 8. Now, what is the first one when all are at low, all low, 
A at low level, B at low level, C at low level. When A at high level, other two at low level, this is A. When B high, other two low, so this is your B. When both A and B high, C low, this is the setting AB. When C at high, other two low, this is the setting this one. These are we have already discussed. Now, when both A and C are high, B at low, this is the setting. Similarly, BC, similarly ABC. So, <coughs> now if you have two, four factors each at two level, you have two different cube like this, where we can, what we will do? So, here suppose another factor D is there, D at low, this kind of and then D at high another cube, we, we will make another cube for D at high. Okay, so, if you have if you have further that k equal to 5, so you cannot pictorially like this cubic cubic representation not possible for high, much higher level and not required also 3 level. So, this is known as 2 to the power k factorial design. So, what is the difference between 2 to the power k factorial design and general factorial design? 2 to the power k factorial design and general factorial design. In general factorial design, what do you observe? You observe that the factors having different levels, factors having different levels. So, A with A level, B with B level, C with C level and with three factor case, the total number of experimental run will be A, B, C into N for three factors, N is the replication. But here what will happen, you require 8 into N, A, B, C equal to 8. Here what happen, if it is general factorial design, it will be A, B, N number of experiments and total treatment is combination A, B, here treatment combination A, B, C. Now, if you go for 2 to the power k factorial gene here, it will be 4 treatment combination and you require 4 number of experiments to be conducted with n replications. Here it is ABC treatment combination 8 n, 8 n number of total number of runs. Okay. So, <coughs> now, now think of a situation. I do not know, it is so disturbing. Can you? Now, you see that even if you go for 2 to the power k factorial design, suppose there are 10 factors k equal to 10, what will happen? You require 2 to the power 10 in, the, in distinct treatment combinations or other way get distinct settings which is 1, 0, 2, 4. Now, if you choose replication n, this is 1024 n, even if you consider 2, this will be 2048. So, so many runs required. So, even if you have k number of factors, each with two levels, when k is large, number of experimental runs will be very large also. So, that is why what happened? it may not be feasible many a times to conduct 2 to the power k factorial design given that k is large. So, under such situation can you not do experiment with lower number of runs instead of 1024 n number of experiment runs will it be possible to make it may be half of this or may be one fourth of this or may be one eighth of this. Is there any scientific basis? Can we go for this? 
all those things will be uh, will be answered in 2 to the power k minus p fractional factorial dn. So, in this class we will not go into details of uh, the uh, 2 to the power k factor, fractional factorial design how it is uh, done and and also why it is accepted the scientific basis and all those things. But for the time being we want to know what is this 2 to the power k minus p fractional factorial design. Let us assume that you have three, three factors a, b, c three factors a, b and c and you are doing 2 to the power 3 factorial 2 to the power 3 factorial uh, to the power k time and 2 to the power 3 factorial design you are basically accept, accepting this. Then you require 8 number of independent runs uh, and if you use a replication it will be 18, but you do not have that much money or that much resource materials not available or operators not available you cannot do this. So, then if I go for 2 to the power 3 design and if I do it that means each of the vertex all the settings you are consider, con, uh, considering for this cube. Instead of that suppose you want to do 2 to the power 3 minus 1 that means 1 half of 2 to the power 3. So, that means, 4 number of independent settings you will consider or 4 treatment combination you will consider. Is it possible? It is possible. How it is possible? We will not be discussed now. We will be discussing in when we will be analyzing to the power k minus p factorial region. So, in this case my k is 3, p is 1. This is known as 1 half into to the power k factorial design, fractional factorial design, fractional factorial design. So, then what are those four points here, four settings this, this, this and this. Okay. So, <coughs> question is that four independent settings or treatment combinations you have not chosen 1, 2, 3, 4 this not chosen, this is not chosen, this is not chosen, this is not chosen. So, whether will it work or not? So, it will work because there are certain certain hypotheses or observations or, or experiences already known or some rules and laws that are already known which is supporting this type of experiment. One is this parsity of effect principles. Parsity of effect principle means suppose you have many fact, many factors large number of factors k number of factors. This principle says that the main effect like a, b, c, d all those things and lower order interaction effect like k, c, 2 this lower order interaction effect has will, will become significant mostly not the higher order. Okay. So, in that case, in that case what happen simultaneously if we use the projection property, what is this projection property? Projection property says that a fractional factorial design at the higher level has many full factorial design, full means to the power k factorial design at the lower level. What does it mean? Suppose you do this experiment or this one. Now, for example, here we are considering the, uh, which one? This one, maybe this second one, this one. Here, 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 and here. These four experimental settings you have chosen for experiment, others you are not chosen. Now, you have you have taken three variable factors A, B, and C. If you project this to two dimensions, like either A, B, or A C or B C what you are getting you see the projection is such that in the two factor level this is full factor full one all the factorial points all the factorial points are having data 
you have already conducted experiment there even though at higher level it is fractional means some of the factorial points are not considered but at one lower level here this is full similarly here you see everywhere point is there here also so that is what says that because of this projection property a fractional factorial design at higher level will have many full factorial design at lower level so that mean if i am interested to know the main effects and interaction effects only that mean two way interaction effects only then this is enough because here you will get a b and ab interaction here ac ac interaction so this is possible to get okay then <coughs> then another one is sequential experimentation this is also supporting this fractional one for example suppose you have done this what you have seen here and you have analyzed the data if you <coughs> analyze the data you will not be able, using this design you will not be able to estimate all the effects parameters a b c a b a c a b c because some will be confounded with others because there are not data points not available in the half of the independent experimental settings so that mean a effect will be confounded with bc b will be confounded with ac c will be confounded with ab confounded in the sense they are the experiments is conducted in such a manner that they are both the effects where where basically uh, i can say uh, taken together both the effects taken together and when you analyze when you analyze and uh, get the effect you will get the con con confounded effect the total effect of the two not individual effect so <coughs> suppose you want the higher order interactions also to be taken together or some of the the confounders also that you have to find out and their effect also separately want to calculate in that case suppose you require another experiment to be conducted then you will not do second ex fractional experiment uh, second experiment with fractional factorial design at all those boson you, you will do the remaining points so if i go for one half fractional factorial design then if i do two different experiment time experiment one with that some four points into the power three design Uh, three my and another another four points with two to the power three uh, that case. So then, if I merge the two data set together, you are getting full factorial two to the power k factorial design for the three 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 variable case here. So that means if you do another experiment, you have full data set for this. So these are the these are the reasons why we will go for. fractional factorial design and these uh, the result will be used for screening purpose that mean what are the factors affecting what are the factors not affecting for example if i go for fractional factorial and a is confounded with bc suppose while estimating we found that this effect is not significant then none of the effect is significant we can eliminate may okay so this is 2 to the power k fractional factorial design now <coughs> another important design is there known as central composite design for example you consider a 2 to the power a 2 to the power 2 design sorry you consider a 2 to the power 2 design in this case what do you do you will your settings independent settings at this these are nothing but known as factorial points factorial points so four independent settings four different treatment combinations okay now it may so happen that suppose if these are the in the if you if the operator the actual operating situation 
So, may not be represented by this because it is obvious because what you will do ultimately you know the op process operating zone and you try to find out the low and high value here and here also low and high value. So, if, if my that entire operating zone is this, so low and high value you are considering, but will the operator operates at low and high all the time. Rather operator will be operating at a point which is middle of this. This is known as most of the time production will be done at this level. So, then this is known as center point. So, if you have the experiment you do experiment at this center point then you have more information about the current operating situation and the uh, and resulting performance in re, in terms of response variable. So, in order to capture that we must go for another setting which is no, uh, or treatment combination is this is known as center which here in this case we have treated as 0 0, but why 0 or plus or minus 1 these things we will discuss later on. Okay we basically use some coding scheme. Here you see the three dimensional case, three variable case, three factors case. So, this is the center point. So, you in a designed experiment you have factorial points, you have central points. Central point usually talks about the current operating performance current operating zone and resulting performance if you have data on it and at this case. And another one is that suppose you may think that that only this low high and center point is not sufficient to capture the totality. So, you may go for some other points called axial points. What does it mean? You may do experiment here, experiment here, experiment here as well as experiment here or here in this case particular case this one, this one, this one, this one and first second and this is another one, this is another one. So, axial point we means that from the center it is alpha distance apart here on the both the axis x 1 and x 2 axis. Now, what is this alpha? there are different different ways to choose the value of alpha, but sole purpose is you get more experimental settings or more treatment combinations and you get more data. So, that the this this definitely rich data if I have only factorial point the data I have and if I go for central point the data I gather will be richer than the first one. Similarly, if I have this plus this plus this it will be rich data, richer data than the previous one. Richer data means give more information. Okay. Now, how do you choose the axial point? That alpha value may be square root of k where k is the number of factors. It is known as spherical central composite design or k alpha may be 1 for cubical uh, central composite design. Okay. There are there are some other designs also for optimality point of view there may be some more issues that that when you go for central composite demand in detail that time you will know. Okay. So, that means here what happened you got something more one is central composite demand with central point only central composite division with central and axial points and this why you require more data because you require better response surface this is used in second order response surface. So, sometimes that is why this is known as also response surface design. What is response surface? Response surface means given the x and suppose factor a and b how the y suppose the y is behaving how y is behaving. So, this is the y y response. So, that means, if my a is here and b is here my response value will be here. 
So you require when you go for second order that means the quadratic effect will be there, curvature effect all, all effects will be there. So as a result what happens you require more number of parameters to be estimated. So you require more data points otherwise you will not be able to estimate many important parameters. So in order to achieve this central composite design is preferred and you get more data points. So, some other design like Latin square design, Greco Latin square design, mixture design, placket Berman design, robust design, nested design, split plot design, so many design depending on the situation you have to use. For example, Latin square and Greco Latin square design. So, in, in Latin square design, um, it's, a, it's a special kind of design where you require less number of exper experimental runs to be conducted and then you will be able to accommodate the uh, blocking variables there also. You require suppose you require uh, two factors one blocking variable go for Latin square. You require two factors two, uh, two number of blocks or two number of missions variable to into, to, into the experiment Greco Latin square. Mixture design I already told you. Robust design is very important one because robust design is as I told you that the product you produce that will be used under different users environment. Now, if your design is not robust so that it can withstand all other innovations uh, or environmental factors in, in, in the operation where, where it will be used. So, then it will not, it is not a good product. So, accordingly robust parameter design in the in the area of quality engineering Taguchi has uh, introduce this one ok that cross state design and other designs are there. So, nested design split plot design and uh, and some more designs are also available I, rec I, I recommend all of you to go through design analysis of experience by DC Montgomery and in different chapters all different types of designs are explained not in any one chapter the way I, I explained today, but it is as the experimental design is very very important and the types of design is, is extremely important. So, I, uh, you must know all those uh, types and before going for uh, conducting any experiment because if you know the uh, different types and under what situation all those uh, which experiment to be chosen and then accordingly you will plan for experiment and get the experimental results when actually you do in practice. So, thank you very much. Uh, this is what the introductory part of experimental design uh, related to the design analysis of experiment and in next class I will start with experimental data and, and different kind of statistics and how do you compute all those statistics and finally goes to probability distribution and different kind of sampling distribution and then hypothesis testing. Uh, in maybe next 3 4 3 hours of time we will be discussing all those things do not miss any of those classes because the quantitative nature a uh, quantitative nature of this particular subjects will be understood uh, from those um, lectures. <laughs>